we're going to cover everything you need to know to make a decision about spring 2023 Fear of God Essentials. As always, I got timestamps below for you guys so you can skip ahead to the part that you're most interested in. Now let's get on with the video. We're gonna quickly go over the packaging for you guys. Most of my items came in this dark essentials bag over here with the Fear of God branding in the front. However, it is important to note that I received one of my items from Essence in this beige bag over here. Now the part that most of you are probably interested in, the colorways. In total, I believe there's six colorways and I seem to have only five over here. I must have missed a gray one while checking out, but we'll skip that one for now. First up, we have sand. Next we have plum now this one here is the fan favorite which is sycamore so we finally got some yellow ones in adult sizing and this one is called light tuscan and the new shade of black for this drop is referred to as off black in terms of my order of preference sycamore would have to be the best colorway this one was definitely on everybody's wish list for this drop plum would be second sand third light tuscan fourth because it doesn't suit my skin tone and finally off black last because we pretty much get a black every single drop now out of all the brown ones in the past the sand color really nailed it for me but it isn't really anything special in comparison to sycamore and plum that we received this season now that we got colors out of the way let's talk logos now this one here is one of my least favorite logos which is the essentials fear of god spell out in the front it's just a little bit too branded for me we also have the plastic fear of god tags on the hood and other items as well and once again no logos on the sleeve now that we got all the logos out of the way let's go on with the actual try on portion now for the try on portion i'm only going to show you guys the items i haven't reviewed in the past i only tend to pick up the newer items now so it makes these videos just a little bit shorter if you're interested in an item that's not shown in today's video i've probably covered it in one of my previous previous videos. And in terms of my dimensions, I am 5'5", 140 pounds. Yep, I've gained a little weight since the last few ones. Your boy's been eating good. First up, we have the Sycamore hoodie in a size double extra small. The price of the hoodies this season is 120 Canadian dollars plus tax. So the reason I went two sizes down is to show you, unlike the previous seasons with the full essential spell out in the front, this is not one that you'd want to go two sizes down one size down max. It's a little bit too tight for me. Yes, I can still squeeze into it, but it doesn't look like it's meant to fit me. Now, these are intended to be slightly oversized, so if you're going two sizes down, it does defeat the purpose of what Beer of God Essentials is. Plus, it'll probably be a little bit too restrictive. Now, I'm going to show you guys what extra small looks like on my proportions. As you can see here with the plum colorway, it's still slightly oversized, but it has a little bit of a taper to it. Now, this is my preferred preference when it comes to wearing Fear of God Essentials. I go one size down for a slightly tapered look. Usually, when going true to size, it fits a little bit too oversized on my frame. But with the newer hoodies, you are able to go true to size if you want a slightly oversized look. If you're looking for the hoodies with essentials spelled out in the front, you'll probably have to go a size down and it'll still fit you like a true to size in these hoodies over here. Now we have one of my favorite items from the entire drop, the full zip jacket. The price of the full zip up is 120 Canadian dollars plus tax, the same as the hoodies. This is a size extra small and it is from the women's section technically, even the tags say women's on it, but at the end of the day, essentials is usually unisex so it doesn't matter what section you shop in. Could I have gone true to size on this? Yes, because it is slightly cropped and it is on a slimmer size, so I could have gone true to size and gone with a size small. However, I do like how the extra small fits my body. It is reminding me of older Yeezy pieces with the crop and I really do like this particular item. Next up, I have the relaxed sweatpants in a size extra small in the off black colorway. The price of these relaxed sweatpants is 130 Canadian dollars plus tax. As you can see here, these actually fit surprisingly well for a shorter frame. They're not super long at the bottom and they fit me really well. Now, if you are on the taller size, maybe it won't fit you well, but I still recommend going one size down because the elastic waist is pretty forgiving. Now these relaxed sweatpants have a waffle knit pattern to it similar to a thermal. Overall, I really love the aesthetic and feel of these pants and I feel like it's a quality pickup to add to your collection. Now there isn't a lot of branding on this piece so if you're looking for that, this is not the piece for you. Now this is one of those items that you can dress down and use it as loungewear or you can dress it up and wear it outside. This is truly a nice piece to add to your Fear of God Essentials collection. And finally, I'm going to show you guys the corduroy work jacket. Now the reason I'm not going to take it out of the bag again is because this is just humongous. This humongous jacket comes in at 275 Canadian dollars plus tax. As you can see here, this is a size extra small in the off black colorway and it's still huge on me. I don't think a double extra small would have made a difference, especially in the sleeves. As you can see, the sizing just doesn't make sense to me. I don't know who it was made for. Maybe if you were six feet tall, you could probably wear an extra extra small and get away with it or even the extra small. It's really baggy. So if you want to wear it like a trench coat, you can. If you're on the shorter side like me, this piece is not meant 
recommend for you and that's why I'm not going to spend too much time reviewing it. So those were all the pieces and here's my final thoughts. A lot of people always say Essentials is played out, but the name says it all, Essentials. These are essential pieces that you want to add to your collection and you might want to recycle out the older ones that you might have run through or have worn out over time. Now in terms of the logo quality, I feel like it has significantly gone downhill since the previous drops. These do not hold up very well in the wash anymore. Like I said, watch my video. It will save you some time and stress in case the letter does fall off. Now, this should be a reminder that brand and price do not necessarily determine high quality. You can find high quality pieces priced very low and you can find really low quality pieces priced very high. In my opinion, $120 is on the high end for a hoodie and is considered a luxury good. It might not be to you, there's probably a lot of higher price items up there, but $120 for a hoodie is a luxury item. However, the quality may not reflect the same luxury I am talking about. Overall, I love the variety of pieces, especially the ones like the full zip jacket over here, which aren't heavily branded and a great entry point towards the Fear of God mainline. Fit of these items is also significantly improved over time and I feel like Essentials is heading in a great direction in terms of fit, but they can significantly improve on the overall quality and logo as well. I'm really starting to miss the Essentials in the front or the Crest logo in comparison to this new huge spell out. Now, when it comes to Fear of God Essentials, if you're planning on purchasing anything, I recommend going to Essence over any other site because of their amazing shipping and return policies. So yes, that means you can actually try these items on at home and return it if you don't like it, unlike other websites that I won't mention in today's video. Those were all of my thoughts, but let me know what yours were down in the comment section below. Now, it's been a while since I put out long form content, but if you guys continue to enjoy it, I'll find time to make it for you guys. With my current work schedule, it's been easier to make short form content and a allow me to show my creative side to you guys as well by styling different pieces. As always, I truly appreciate the support you guys have given me and how far we've come in the last two years. As always, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.